go ahead and get started. We got a couple topics for you guys today. Um, first one is our personal favorite basketball movies of all time. And I personally feel like I got the best choices. I don't care what anybody else say. But uh, since, let's, okay. let's go ahead and do it in reverse order. Uh, I'm going to go first. What? I'm gonna go first. first. Clownish. All right. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I, I'm going first. My favorite two of all time. It's a tie. Coach Carter and Glory Road. Coach Carter, just because it is the best basketball movie of all time. You got wait. Like, you got famous people playing basketball, which is kind of lame. But okay, what really right, matters right. as just, just real quick, just what's real quick. up. We're letting everybody throw their topics out, or not throw their topics out, but throw their um, choices out. And then we have to have dialogue afterwards, because I got some opinions about everything you just said, but continue on. Okay, cool, because um, you're not the host, so I'll do what I want. Anyway, we got Samuel L. Jackson as a coach, where he's not cussing every 15 seconds. The fact that you have Michael, I mean, not Michael Jackson, wow, Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> as a coach around kids where he is not allowed to say M effort 72 times a movie is great. That shows his range where he can go from clean acting to being Samuel L. Jackson. And then Glory Road, just because it has so much historical content and it was the first movie I ever got for my PSP back in like 2006. And hey, I literally watched that movie, though. right? Literally watched that movie 57 times. A little too much, but okay. No such thing as too much when it comes to your favorite movie, bro. Okay, okay. So, who's next? Levi. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Coach Carter and uh, Loving Basketball, mainly because I just watched it so many times, and I just fell in love with it. Both of the movies. Levi, a woman. <laughs> it's love, I have, bro. I mean, I have eight sisters. I have eight sisters. You have eight sisters? Yes, yeah, I have eight sisters. I'm the only boy. That's yeah, crazy. Right. Okay, I, I, you honorary uh, okay. have your problems, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Honorary woman. Um, is that it, Levi? Yeah, yeah, those two, yeah. Oh, <laughs> mm, honestly, Coach Carter, I feel like I might have something else to add if I could remember the basketball movies I've watched, but it's been forever since I've really watched them. So. All right, well, me... The tie between two, hurricane season, yeah, and he got game. Yeah, okay, come on, with, uh, okay. Come on, with common. Come on, common. Not common, Queen Latifah. That's a. What's that movie that's called? a different movie. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. But he was no, like, no, no, common no, was no, like no, an NBA player. And, and Queen Latifah is like a personal trainer. Yeah, or whatever it is. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, trash movie. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. That's all. Uh, <laughs> the only woman, the only person who will like that movie is a person with eight sisters. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, or someone who works as a part of the coaching staff. That wasn't a good movie, though. It wasn't a good so, movie, like, but. <laughs> um, but anyway, he got game. Is my all-time favorite because it's um, he personally, it's the realest movie, um, of like the life of. A high recruit going into college. It doesn't like. There's rarely any other movies that re- that truly uh, accurately show that um, lifestyle and you know what actually goes on behind the scenes when you are of that level. And it has you know, uh, you know, it, it, it shows of, of the examples of a lot of kids from the hood. You know what I mean? And how like a bunch of kids are a bunch of um big time schools try to try, try to recruit them using different tactics that they believe would uh you know attract hood kids all kind of stuff you know there's um playing to the game and that's the only movie i'm sorry i'm not saying the whole, one of the only movies but it is the only movie that actually represents what that is um hurricane season honestly that's just nostalgia for me like there's no like there's no actual like reason or why it has a little win in it that's not a good reason <laughs> at all but whatever um, but it's just like, yeah, I watched it on a charter bus t- going on a black college tour once. <laughs> like, and it was just like, that's a really good movie. Have I seen it since? No. So do I actually know if it's a good movie? No, 
idea. But at that time and moment, at 3 o'clock in the morning, going through Alabama, I swore it was a great movie. Um, uh, but yeah, but like the, I like the more real, dirty, gritty movies. I think Coach Carter is the most overrated movie, uh, especially oh basketball movies. Get off, get off the podcast. Get off. Hold up, hold up. Why? Expl- please explain why. Explain to you why. We don't care. That's why. That's why. We do not care that you think that is the most overrated movie. People died in that movie, Philip. There was a brick thrown through a man's glass window. That is one of the most important movies of my childhood, and I'm not going to let you destroy it. I'm not going to destroy it. I'm just saying it's overrated. No one, it no one cares. Well, all, I just want to point out. I just want to point out. Okay, you, very quickly. you had a lot to say about uh, Coach Carter, but you had zero things to say about Glory Road. Why Glory Road? I told you, Glory, the historical content for Glory Road was, like, that movie is about the first all, I think, all black starting five to, I think they won the national championship that year. Great movie. And they did it in movie, Texas, bro. They made a good movie in context to all the other basketball movies, though. But I don't, when it's personal favorite, it does not matter. It's di- completely different if we're ranking. But to me, that is one of my favorite movies. We asked about favorite movie. We did not rank. Oh, we did not talk it, about though. the best movie of all time. I know, but I just don't see it though. Like, I think you're the only person I know whose favorite movie is Glory Road for whatever reason. Like, I like, and, I, and I've seen it, but I don't. I don't know. Like, for me personally, and like you said personally, you know, we're not over here. It's the best director. Like, it's just not. It just doesn't hit. It never hit, hit me the same way it hit you for sure. Um, Clearly, that's why know. it's my favorite. You know, operative yeah. word, my. But still, I can't shoot. Somebody's favorite rapper is Takashi. I still can't say he garbage. Come on now. <laughs> no, no. To you, you can say he garbage. But, oh, no, yeah. oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying to me, uh, Will Rose just doesn't hit that spot. You know what I mean? Like, I, and I'm a historian, so I figure it should hit my spot. Uh, well, I'm going to be a historian. Uh, but I, so I figure it should hit somewhere in me. But I don't know. But I will give you this, though. For my own being, my favorite being, he got game. Ray Allen's acting is a punk. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like, I know that to be, I know that to be fact. Like, I'm not over here just one of those, like, people in denial. You know what I mean? But Denzel, that was a great Denzel role. That was yeah. a great Denzel role. Um, it's really underrated. Because mostly black people have seen that movie. Like, if you go to a white person, like, who's your favorite Denzel? They're going to say, they're going to say, Trey, what, Training Day? You're going to say, Book of Eli? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to say, you know, he got game. Um, but yeah, fantastic. I, I don't know. I, I can go all on, on all day about he got game. That one part, I can tell you the movie, Alan, or Duh. Alvin and Eli. But that, oh, that was oh, one of the game, uh, one of the movies that sparked my love for the, uh, Air Jordan 13s. Bro, you know, my number in high school was number 34 because of Jesus Shuttleworth. Like, specifically because huh. of Jesus Shuttleworth, like the AU, everything. That's my favorite movie, and that was the only reason I wore number thirty-four. I didn't know that was—I didn't even know that was Ray Allen's number um, for the for the Supersonic. <laughs> I, just, I just wore it. I literally just wore it because of Jill Shuttlesworth. Uh, but that one scene where Big Tom is him a driver in the car, he's telling him the people to avoid. He's talking about the drug dealers and people trying to get his money. Go on YouTube right now. Look at that scene. That might be one of the most realest scenes ever in movies. Not just uh, a basketball movie, but just like a real scene, a real movie, especially a Spike Lee movie, because Spike Lee movies always have those moments, you know what I mean? Fire movie. Can you throw Space Jam in there? Can no, we cannot throw Space Jam in there. No. Uh, okay. Uh, Unless it's somebody's uh, favorite right now? No, we're not talking about all-time greats. Yeah. You still can't put that in all-time great. Cause... I, hmm, I like Space Jam because, I don't know, I, I watched Space Jam like a couple months ago, maybe, Yeah. I still felt good. But it's the cultural relevance. It's the cultural relevance and the fact it's nostalgia for all of us. I don't know. I remember clutching a basketball watching that, sh- watching that movie as a like seven years old. Yeah, yeah, I am a cliche. It's okay. <laughs> but I remember holding the basketball watching that movie like, I know I can't do that though. It does count, but like. I, I, I get it. It's, 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 it's a good movie, um, but it, it's a good, it's a good, solid kid 
specific movie. Oh, so yeah. You would put that in the same category as Air Bud, I guess. No. I mean, you could put it in the same like, category, but it's tiers like to this. Air like Bud is like two like, tiers so, lower. Coach Carter is like a PG-13 movie, but it has like adult content. In yeah, it. yeah. Uh, yeah. And you know, like all these other basketball movies have like somewhat content in it. Uh, but like Space Jam is a battle it's catered, what is it, P rated G maybe? I don't know what it is, but Man. like, it's like, what did you call this? I, I was going to say, I think it's PG. Or yeah, something. I think it's I PG. Know. It's like super, super family friendly, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I, got, I got this one, I got another one. Uh-huh. The one of them. How about that? Juana Man oh, is fire. Juana Man is fire. I will give you that one. Yeah, this is a good one. That is a good yeah. one. And we, if we were doing the top ten list, that would be in my top ten list. Viva over here giving out the giving out the movies that everybody forgot about. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like that's the only genre of movie Levi watches. Just basketball. basketball movies. It's a sub genre, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Some genre. It really is though. It's such a specific genre. Levi hasn't watched any Marvel movies since 2008, but he's watched every single basketball movie that's coming out. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
like that. I don't, I don't know. If, yeah. There's, wait, there's one where, like, they get... I remember this dude was supposed to be, like, a... He used to play pro ball or something, or he used to be a coach, but they get him to coach, like, their Jewish school or... Yep, full uh, court miracle. Team or whatever. I know what you're talking about. I don't oh, know what you're talking yo, about. How are we forgetting that? I would have forgotten rebound with Martin Lawrence. Oh, Bruh, I was thinking about that, but I didn't want to bring it up because. Why? I like that. That's the way he coached the kids team, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bring that up. He coached the kids team. Five. There was that. There was that one ref. Yeah, like Mike. What are we doing now? Man, if we're gonna bring that up, we're, we're going down many lanes now. That's what we're doing. Exactly. Hey, like Mike I mean, is fire, bro. Like <laughs> Mike will always be fire. Um, but rebound. That was a that was a movie where like the ref. Had like a delayed reaction, and it's like, uh, <laughs> when he like said a call, oh man, that was so funny to me. Like, that was really hilarious to me. And it had beans from even shooting in it, so that was weird. That yeah, little weird looking dude. Good, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was dead hey. to look at that, but like, man, that kid is ugly. Um, uh, hey man, it's true, you know, it is. Um, but yeah, Mike Mike, I don't, I don't know how we got this far and didn't right. men- even mention Mike Mike. This is, hey, you know, uh. It's as good as it is. It is not that memorable. Okay, but guess what though? That's fine though. Guess what? This is, this is what I'm talking about. So you guys watch Black Mirror? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So have you seen the new season? No. Mm-mm. Or the second newest season? I guess it is now. The one that came out a year ago. Yeah. You know, okay, so like this is one episode where you know this guy like uh, where like this guy and he. Um, like, takes the DNA of people, like, puts it to a video game. Whatever, it gets weird. Mm-hmm. But, oh, wait, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, so the main, the guy, the, the antagonist, I guess, for that episode, he is, um, I was like, the whole time watching, I was like, that guy looks really familiar. Then I was like, oh, that's a guy from Max Keebler's Big Move. But then I was like, oh, that's the the bully from uh, Like Mike also. And then I just went to theaters, and I saw this movie called Vice, about Dick Cheney, about Dick Cheney. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's one of the main people in Vice too. I'm like, this man, so, this man got some iconic roles under his belt. Hey, <laughs> I'm like, get on. them checks, bro. I'm like, man, but yeah, I, but just now I put together that he was a guy from Mike Mike, the bully that like didn't get adopted, so he was really that was a sad <laughs> movie, man. That's such a sad. Well, that movie got really sad under under undertones. Bro, it's, like, it's not even undertones. That is the main point of it. They was like, how can we make this seem happy? Play basketball. I mean, but then he was it that Morris Chestnut, the one that he, uh, the one that he, um, that eventually adopted him and the white kid? Yeah. I think it was. Yep. Hey, but if y'all are having, ever having a bad day, just Google, um, Full Court Miracle. I I just put the link in the uh in the message box. I am telling you, this dude in his banana colored suit is the funniest thing I've seen in a while, bro. It is wild. Was it a, is it a movie? Yes, bro. Yeah. Full Court Miracle is the uh is the Disney movie where the uh the Jewish kids were playing in like oh yeah oh oh, 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 oh. yeah. I haven't heard, honestly, I haven't heard that movie even referenced, referenced in like 15 years. Because you, you, you're not going to, bro. It's, Disney movies are very forgettable. Oh, they were cranking them mugs that's out. That's at, not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. Don't do that. Hey. This, for, for a certain as many, movie, as many have, ones you can name, there's way more that you've forgotten. That's not true, man. That's probably the true. original that's ones? What true. are you? Original ones from, original ones from like, from like, 2000 to like 2009, maybe 2008. I'm trying to figure out when I thought when he watched the Disney Channel. Like from from that like ten nine year period, there are way more that you remember that you don't remember. I guarantee. I, I guarantee, I guarantee that's I'm gonna, false. I'm gonna throw out ten right now. I guarantee you remember every single one of them. Bro, I told you there's gonna be ones that we remember, but I'm pretty sure there's more that you do not remember than there are ones you? that you. Okay. Yes, I I guarantee you, bro. They okay, cranked out hundreds. I'm going to like, can, can we move on to the next topic? Otherwise, we're going to be here all day talking about Disney Channel original movies. That's we, true. We, we, That's we, for we, another we, podcast. It's not, a, it's not a bad thing, but okay. It's not. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. 
talked to him before. Like, my my phone, all my phone off on the, you know, I think. Check for that um, on uh, PG Anecdotes. We, we will be having <laughs> a Disney, hey, <laughs> Disney oh, Channel movie <laughs> segment oh. on PG Anecdotes. I have no oh, idea when it airs. 